my god! <laughs> We just came out this pond. We snuck in behind a car to get in here, and uh, and I just pulled out like the skinniest bass I've ever seen. I looked on Fish Brain, there's barely any catches in here, and I just caught this like five pounder. Look at this pond. Look at this pond, you guys. It's just a little. Wow. No way. The scales in the truck. No way. I'm gonna put this in a video now because I've been needing to do an unboxing on my newest gear from Carl's Bait and Tackle. So I'm just gonna start that video off with this catch. Oh. My goodness! Guys, this thing is heavy. I would not be surprised if this thing is, is five pounds. It's a five and a half! It's 5.44, guys. Five and a half pounder. Oh, man. We got to get a couple pictures and then get him back in the water. Let's appreciate our youth like it's our final days. I'm the rarest in the deck. Call me Ace of Spades. Life is anything you choose. I would choose you, baby. <laughs> totally unexpected guys like I said I'm throwing this in with the unboxing footage of all the new Carl's baits everything that I just caught the fish with I ordered from Carl's every month if y'all want to save 30% on your baits and tackle go ahead and check it out literally we didn't bring the GoPros it's cold out here today it is it's 44 degrees Devin was sitting in the truck I just wanted to fish for a minute we pulled in behind like this little Jetta into this private community that we've never fished before and I had seen no large catches here on the Fish Brain app. Uh, so maybe some like two pounders and they all look skinny. I caught one fish and I got a couple pictures of him. I'll try and post one up real quick. He was just very skinny and so I wasn't expecting anything of size out of this place. It's so murky. I'm like maybe these things just cannot see their food source and are not getting fed enough. And then boom, minutes later, right along the rock because I caught the first one right on the rock's edge. I was just kind of walking the crack and crawl right along this rocky edge and boom, five and a half pounder on this uh, beautiful Tuesday morning. Let's go ahead and uh, I might fish for another minute or two, but we're probably going to head out of here. But let's get to that unboxing. Since we're on plus two stops, see how everything's sounding, see how everything's looking, get some good close ups. I think this video is going to turn out pretty good. Let's just make sure even if I'm over here, I'm in frame. Make sure if I'm right here, I'm in frame. Everything should look pretty good. All right, guys, what did you think of that catch? That was, uh, oh, Jesse's on the move. Jesse's not normally on the move. Looks like he's kind of about to shed. Eyes are getting a little cloudy. The, his paint scheme is a little off, a little, little light. Um, we're going to do a fun unboxing for you guys today, sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle. We cannot thank them enough for being continuous supporters of the channel. This one's going to be very juicy. We've got a lot to go over. Jesse is going to join me. You guys have seen the Kang also in previous videos, but I don't know if he can hang out with us because the thing is he will, uh, he'll probably be on the run. We can see. He might be able to hang out with us for a minute. He might just stay perched up, but we'll see what happens. So this is the Kang. This is Jesse, and then we've also got our spotted python, but she would like really be on the run and be darting all over the place. So I think we're gonna leave her up. Maybe you wanna just hang out on the Carl's box? Let's go ahead and break out everything we have got in this month's order from Carl's Bait and Tackle. You guys, I think you're really gonna like this one. I've got a lot to share with you guys, so let's go ahead and just get right into the box. Nothing is in any specific order. We are just gonna have fun talking about the latest and greatest baits to hit the channel. And there is some new stuff you've never seen before on today's episode, so I think you're gonna really enjoy it. Let me get Jesse positioned. Ah, he's fine. Okay, so first of all, guys, what have we got? Bam! A spinner bait. We have the zinger. There's a couple hooks over there. I'm gonna put King up because I can already tell this is gonna be trouble. First we have the Guggen Squad Zinger. This is the latest and greatest spinner bait on the market. I have thrown it, I love it. You can get by a whole lot of stuff without getting this hook caught on these spinner baits because the thing is, you have this blade up here at the top and that's really protecting your hook right here on the bottom from getting caught on a lot of stuff. So you can work this thing nice and painfully slow during the winter months when you can get those bass to actually not want to chase some faster moving baits unless you're getting reaction strikes, but they might hit some 
something like this, big and bulky, a lot of moving parts right here, really capture their attention. I'd throw something like a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back of this puppy and you will be getting some hits on the spinner bait. That's a guarantee. I've even got a couple rigged up over here. We're going all out in today's video, guys. I'm showing you some full on setups. So here's more of a chartreuse and shad pattern zinger. And uh, it's got one gold and one silver blade. And you'll see I've just put a fluke on the back. That's a Zoom Salty Super Fluke. That will get the job done. Here's another example. This one we're going more natural profile right here, representing more of a bluegill as opposed to shad. And so uh, we've got a smaller, I believe this is a 3.3 inch saucy swimmer on the back of this bluegill pattern. Maybe that's the color uh, zinger. I've had this one out of the box for a while, but I believe it's the bluegill. And so we've got some awesome spinner baits. Ooh, another Jackal Gantrell. I just wanted to stock up because I know I'm gonna lose these at some point. They're actually very hard to lose. They stay very close to the surface. The king is going crazy over here. He is just having a blast. He's getting bright and colorful. He wants back out, I can tell. I think he wants to hang out with Jesse. And we have been throwing and loving these bluegill swim baits. <laughs> I swear he's messing me up. So we've been throwing and loving these big bluegill swim baits and uh, catching a lot of big fish, getting some big hits on these things. You've seen me throw probably almost every color uh, they offer in these Jackal Gantrell swim baits. And with Carl's club membership, they're literally just over 20 bucks, a very affordable way to get into some hard body swim bait action. Let me show you some of these colors we've got that we've thrown in previous videos. This is for your really stained and murky water, in my opinion. Uh, but this color right here can get fish's attention where there's very low visibility. I would toss this thing out in a heartbeat. Something like this guy right here is gonna be a cold-blooded killer. I've also got this one. I believe this is the spawn gill color. And uh, we've torn him up a little bit. He's hit the boat a few times. He's hit some rocks. This one's been used and abused. Caught a lot of fish. Caught some big ones too. Threes and fours. The treble hooks have not let us down. The fins on the side of this guy, they've broken off unfortunately, but his action has not changed at all. He's still got such an amazing swim. And then this is the one that we just re-upped and ordered this month. Uh, by the way, these are all the juniors. We do have one full-size Jackal Gantrill. I don't even know where it's at. But these are the juniors. Jesse, you're not about to get a treble hook in you. I'm not messing around. And this is the ghost gill. I really love this one. You can almost see straight through it, but it actually is probably the most natural looking color out of the, uh, the whole lot of them I've thrown. And so this guy right here, really do like, really enjoy throwing this color right here. This thing will get you those catches. Let me tell you what. And it's so fun, just slow creeping these things. Slow creeping, and then you give that real like a half spin, real quick, just the bluegill just darts and you pause it. And I'm telling you what, that is when we get smacked 80, 90% of the time. Not when it's on the move, not when it's on the move, but right when you whip it right in front of their face and then you pause it, oh man, I'm telling you what, you're gonna get a big hit off of that thing right there. Next in the box, we have a gridiron, brand new to the Guggen Squad jig lineup and Catch Co lineup. This is the big heavy football jig. This thing is a half ounce. I have one rigged up right here with an Okeechobee Craw Bandito Bug. And this actually just caught Bass and Bill. You saw me do some videos with him recently. When he was down here in Texas, his new PB of like 10 and a half pounds. This exact setup right here. I mean, I think it's the biggest uh, bass on one of these Guggen jigs yet. And uh, so I've got one ready at all times. What else have we got in here? Lil Juicy. This is also brand spanking new, guys. The Lil Juicy jig. This is just a smaller version of their casting jig. This is the finesse size. Uh, I've got one rigged up right here. Look at this little guy. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you what, if that doesn't look like perfection to you, I've got a bandito bug chopped down just a little ways. This is a watermelon red flake bandito bug on the back of one of the quarter ounce Lil Juicy jigs. And the thing just looks monstrous. This will get you those catches when the bigger jigs maybe aren't getting as many hits. You need to shorten up that profile a little bit, go a little bit more finesse. This right here is going to annihilate. We have another little juicy jig. This one is in the blue craw color. Just wanted to get a couple different colors to throw on the channel, something a little bit different. You guys see me throw a lot of black and blue, a lot of natural style colors. This is a, a different color jig that I really have not uh, played around with too much. So we're gonna get an opportunity to do so on the channel very soon. So what else have we got here? This is the Juicy. So this is the uh, the OG right here. This is the standard casting jig. 3 8 ounce is what I picked up this time. I'm probably just gonna throw some black and blue crack and craws on the back of this thing right here and uh, throw that in some more of the stained water. What else have we got? I kind of stocked up on these actually. Check me out. I got some chatter baits. You know how you like, you go through phases in fishing, you know, you find a new confidence bait, you throw it for a while, you throw it for a while, and then you find something new and you use it for a while. And I just haven't, uh, I haven't thrown the chatterbaits 
in quite a while it seems like but yet they were such a big staple and confidence bait just like one year ago or less i was throwing them all the time always had one tied on i think lately i've switched over to the guggen squad clutch most frequently which is their lipless oh shoot don't drop that off the table which is the uh, lipless crankbait. I love this for pond hopping. You can control the depth, you can uh, burn it, you can pause it, you can catch a lot of fish with it, that's for dang sure. And these shad colorations have really worked for me in the clear and in the stained water. So uh, I would stock up on some clutches as well as some chatterbaits, but let me talk more about what we've got here. The Z-Man chatterbaits. Uh, this one's the Elite. I, I just wanted to give something different a try in black and blue. I've caught so many fish on these black and blue chatterbaits, again, uh, in the stained or clear water which is why I value the black and blue color. I think it's just uh, one of those all-purpose lures you can get away with throwing. I've got, sometimes I'll have a bandito bug rigged up on the back of it. I have caught so many fish with the flutter of that bandito bug on the back of these Z-Man original chatter baits, just the cheap ones. Even cheaper if you've got the Carl's Club membership. And then also something like a saucy swimmer on the back of these things, if you guys want to throw more of a swim bait on the back of your uh, chatter baits. It's just such an effective lure to cover, to cover water, to get out there, to try and find where these fish are located. It's, it's um, a pretty slow moving presentation and you can get away with fishing this in a lot of thick grass when the grass is real close to the surface and you can't really get away with throwing a lot of your cranks and whatnot. You can throw another moving bait, the chatter bait, so easily without getting caught in a lot of stuff. It's just got that one hook for some fun hook sets and uh, you really feel this thing working too. It's a lot of fun to fish. You just, as long as you feel that action in the rod tip, that flutter, you know the blade's working and you're not caught on grass. It's very effective at catching some big fish. When I get into some stained water, typically I'll be throwing uh, the shad colorations. So this is like a, an all white version right here. And I believe this is a, an actually a Biospawn Exoswim on the back of this one. Uh, and so just a lot of different options when it comes to the chatter baits. But what I wanted to do, because I've almost always thrown the shad in black and blue exclusively, was this month change it up a little bit. And so I got some more natural colored ones. These are green pumpkins, uh, straight from Carl's Bait and Tackle in this month's order. And I'm probably just gonna throw some natural colored crack and craws, natural colored bandito bugs, and natural color uh, saucy swimmers on the back of these chatter baits right here. Another option for those swim baits is uh, just to throw them on something like the flashbang. You can pick these up on Carl's as well. Just that standard hook, but it's got a little bit of extra flash with that blade on the bottom. So the tail's kicking and that flash gets these bass attention from a longer distance away because this is a little bit longer uh, swim bait right here. And you'll get some big hits on these guys right here, slow creeping during the winter months. And also going into springtime, I'm telling you what, these are gonna get annihilated. Gotta be prepared and those things will get the job done. What else have we got in the box, man? I'm pumped over here. New stuff, I love new stuff stuff. Gridiron jig, just got a couple extras. That's a black and blue. Another gridiron, this one here is rotten pumpkin color. Uh, just something a little bit different. It's got some red in there, some orange in there. It's almost like a watermelon red flake with some orange uh, skirt detail. A real cool, real cool color. I like this thing. I'm going to throw that in some of these newer videos. Probably when I'm fishing off boats with my friends who just invite me out on their boats because I don't have one. And uh, it's a little big for a lot of these ponds. But of course, if there's some deeper ponds, you can really get down to the bottom and catch some bit. Oh, sorry, Jesse. You can really get down to the bottom and catch some big fish with these things. Uh, I kind of did a two for one deal right here. Uh, let's see, what's next? Another gridiron. This is the PBNJ. So again, we're just mixing things up. We're trying different colors. We're going to see what works and we're going to hopefully identify some new confidence baits with this month's order, which is what fishing is all about. Trying to diversify your portfolio. What do we got next? A juicy jig. Another juicy. This is bluegill. You can tell, obviously, there's a theme here. I wanted to do some more jig throwing this year. So I am uh, stocking up on these things and the chatter baits and just wanted to do some things that I haven't been throwing a whole lot lately. And so that is what you're getting on today's video. I used to throw a lot of square bills, square bill crankbaits, and uh, you can have a ton of fun and uh, catch a lot of fish on square bill crankbaits, something like these bubonic cranks, real unique, uh, awesome colorations. This thing, I mean, I've lost, I lost such a big fish on this color right here. I, I, I lost the fish, it sucked, but this color right here almost secured like a six pounder. He was right at the kayak. Uh, yeah, anyways. Bubonic crankbaits, if you guys are fishing some more, uh, maybe deeper ponds, or you've got some ponds with a lot of rock, 
I'd throw the square bill and get down a little bit. Maybe the fish are suspending a little bit lower in the water column and you'll have a lot of good luck with these crankbaits. Um, but if it's, if it's rocky on the bottom, you want to be bouncing off that rock, really creating some disturbance and these things are going to get the job done for you. So grab some square bills as well. Do not forget to stock up on your square bills. One more good chatterbait trailer is these eel eliminators. These things have a, like a little swindle tail right here and they will be rotating in like a constant circular motion. So these guys right here are really Really good. This is a Blue Crawl 8 pack, 3.5 inch, and uh, this would be good for those natural chatter baits that I just got. So I'm probably going to be throwing these on the tail end of some of those as well as my cracking craws. All right, guys, we just got a few more things in here. Uh, I ordered a third chatter bait, so that's that same natural coloration. I got some snap swivels. You guys are going to hate me for this. I know I've been getting so many comments, mainly negatives. I've got some positives, but you know, the, the thing is, if you if you get a big fish on the hook, these swivels are not going to be your best friend, most likely. Good chance you'll lose a fish because of these things, but I just value the time savings that they offer for me as a fishing vlogger. So for me, going out, changing lures constantly, trying to show you guys new techniques, new tactics, I think is, at the moment, more valuable to me than the straight knot to the bait which means I would probably lose less fish. I hope that makes sense. I just wanna be able to switch lures on the fly to try and identify what the fish are hitting that day and, uh, and have more of a chance of catching something. Usually I'm on a time crunch. I film these videos and also work full time. And so for me, the time savings really makes a difference. I can switch between cranks, chatter baits, all my hard baits, and it makes it just so easy on the fly using these swivels to do just that. And here we have something new to the channel as well. Check these out, newly launched the Junior Scout. This is the smaller jerkbait uh, by the Guggen Squad that is just released. And this color is pretty fancy. Which one is it? I don't even remember what I ordered this month. Elegy Bone or Eel Elgy Bone? Anyways, it's pretty dope. It's, uh, it's basically kind of clear, like a ghostish color with a darker top and more of a chartreuse bottom. And so it's just something different and unique that I wanted to try for the channel. This is the, the full size scout right here if you want to compare that to the the junior scout so here's a little bit of a size comparison hopefully it's focused on the uh, jerk bait not my face because this thing has really good face detection uh, but this color right here is the silver flash i think this one is going to do some serious damage around here i'll be throwing this one most likely quite a bit on the channel all that's left in the box and we have wrapped things up in today's video is some more stickies hood <laughs> is some more stickies hooks. You guys know I stay stocked on the stickies hooks. These are for my drop shot rigs primarily. You could also do wacky rigs. I haven't been throwing a lot of wacky rigs uh, recently. I've been throwing drag and drops like crazy, catching a bunch of fish, and these are what I do that with. I also throw out quarter ounce, oh, here they are. I've been throwing those with uh, quarter ounce drop shot weights, straight off of Carl's as well and uh, it has been getting the job done. These are very cheap drop shot weights. I mean, I think they come out to a little over two bucks for the, the package of them. So I grab a few packages and I keep it uh, stocked up with my terminal tackle. Everything in here, except for I've got some Wu Tungsten weights has come from Carl's as well. I've got a lot of the deadbolts for my Ned rigs. You can see they're all tidy and neat. I've got a Carolina rig set up. I've got some uh, wacky rig, these O-rings to help keep your wacky rigs rigged up. I've got plenty, ow, of Guggen Squad hammer hooks. I've got a lot of the Ketchco hooks. I've got some more of those flashbang hooks. I mean, I've got it all ready to go on a moment's notice. Before we close things out, guys, to be completely honest, if you guys sign up as a new Carl's Club member, I get a little kickback and it helps support this channel and helps me to create more videos for you guys like this. Hopefully educational. You've picked up, if, if you've even picked up one or two things from this video, then it's been a success for me. And I hope you guys did very much so enjoy this one. The same thing with Mystery Tackle Box. When you guys sign up as a new member for your Mystery Tackle Boxes, I get a little something as well. And that is why I'm placing these big orders every single month, always trying new stuff for you guys. Well, I do throw a lot of the same stuff, but I like to throw new stuff as well. <laughs> Needless to say, I appreciate every one of y'all's support. I really hope you enjoyed that big catch to start this thing off. Wait, 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 there's one more very important part to this video. I realized Carl's, even though it's not where I bought it, I got this thing in store. I wanna say I paid almost $50 for this scale. Uh, but you can get it for like, I think around 40 on Carl's. I don't think it's 30, that sounds too cheap, but you can get this thing for around 40 bucks on Shop Carl's. This scale is up to 50 pounds. You literally, there's just an on and off button. So simple to use. 
This is how I weigh my bass on the channel. You guys know I carry around a bigger backpack, so I'm not afraid to put a larger scale in there. I just think this thing is invaluable. I used to get those cheaper ones from Walmart. I literally went through two of them before deciding, okay, enough is enough. The cheap scales and it's got the one hook and you gotta try and put it in the fish's gill and the fish are flopping off those things. Sometimes you don't wanna hurt the fish. I've had so much more success with this scale right here. I've even taken this to Florida and put some peacock bass on this thing. You ain't putting a peacock bass on one of those little scales from Walmart. Let me tell you what, those little cheaper ones with just the one hook, those things will thrash bash and everything in between. You are gonna just hurt those fish. You need to get something like this to really grip and hold those lips. I trust in this thing so freaking much, you guys. And you can pick this up for the cheapest place I've ever seen it is actually on Carl's. I just found it the other day when I was going through my order. So this scale right here will make weighing fish so much more enjoyable. And with that, guys, let's go ahead and cut to today's outro. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Carl's bait and tackle for the win today. Oh my gosh, who would have thought? Woo, we're excited out here. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.